Hello everyone and welcome to a new class. So this class is going to be about the orthopedics, trauma, basic principles. And here you will learn about the basics of fractures and how to treat them. Uh, so this class is aimed for uh, medical students, orthopedics personnel from doctors to nurses and medical doctors interested in learning more about orthopedics uh, and th this class is beginner friendly but we will go all the way to advanced levels and this is the intro lecture for this, this class and here we will talk about uh, some definitions the orthopedic trauma definition and some other definitions and we will explain the bone types and we will talk about some terminology important in this class and we were we will finally lay out the class overview and what are the topics we will cover in this class so let's start so orthopedic trauma uh, refers to uh, injuries to bones joints ligaments and tendons caused by falls motor vehicle accidents and sports and uh, it includes uh, the medical and surgical management of those injuries so fracture is a break or crack in the continuity of the bone and can occur in any part of any bone and results in the sensation of pain in the fractured bone there might be swelling of the overlying soft tissue and deformity depending on the severity of the fracture and the fractured bone might be unstable and there might be change in sensibility depending if there is damage to the nerves that are that are near the fractured bone and there might be loss of function of the bone uh, so ligament is a tissue that connects uh, the bone with another bone so ligaments tissue that connects bone with another bone while the tendon is a tissue that connects muscle with a bone uh, dislocation is movement of a bone from its normal position in its joint uh, that's due to stretch or tear in the ligaments and other structures holding the joint uh, and the subluxation is a partial type of dislocation uh, of a bone within its joint the sprain is a ligamentous injury and the strain is injury to a tendon or to a muscle uh, so here we have some histology revision uh, that you will need in trauma and that's about the bone types uh, so in histology we have two types of the bone we have the cortical bone and we have the cancellous bone uh, the cortical bone is the compact the dense and the strong type of bone uh, and it is found in the outer layer of the shafts of long, long bones the outer surface of flat bones such as the skull and it is also found in ribs and pelvis and it make up 80% of the adult skeleton and it has slow turnover rate uh, meaning uh, it is it heals uh, slower than the other type of the bone which is the cancellous bone the cancellous bone is also the trabecular bone the spongy bone it is weaker than the cortical bone and it is found in the end of the long bones and the inner layer of the of their shafts and in the vertebral bodies and is also found in inner layer of the skull the ribs and pelvic bones and it make up uh, the 20% of the adult skeleton and it has a high turnover rate uh, meaning it has faster hearing healing than the cortical bone does so here we have important terminology uh, that uh, you should understand uh, and those include the diaphysis the epiphysis and the metaphysis the the epiphysis is the part of the bone that articulates with the joint so here we have the epiphysis uh, the metaphysis is the part that is next to the uh, epiphysis and so this is the metaphysis and the diaphysis is the part that uh, that forms the shaft of the bone 
So here we have the diaphysis. And same applies to the other end. Uh, and we have also the proximal and distal terms. The proximal is the uh, means that the part of the bone that is near the body center and regarding the tibial bone, we have this part that is the proximal part and this part is the distal part, which is the, the, the part that's further from the body center. Uh, also regarding the cortical and cancellous uh, bones, the epiphysis and the metaphysis are mostly composed of the uh, cancellous bone, while the diaphysis is mostly composed of uh, the cortical bone. So here we have cortical and metaphysis and epiphysis are mostly composed of the uh, cancellous bone. So in this class we will have 16 lectures besides the intro lecture that we had. Uh, so we will learn about the mechanism of fractures, the types of fractures, the displacement patterns, the fracture healing, the clinical features in patients presented with a fracture, the treatment of closed fractures, uh, the reduction of fracture. We will also learn about the immobilization of fracture, uh, fracture exercise, treatment of open fractures, early, early complications and late complications of fractures, also stress, pathological fractures, physical injuries and joint injuries. Uh, and if you want to support this work, you can buy uh, subscribing to, the, to this channel and liking the videos you watch. And if you want to support more, you can buy subscribing to the Patreon link provided in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Peace.